What's up, man of church? Good morning to you. It's your boy, Pastor M, with another morning manner. You might be sipping your cup of coffee. You might be popping open that Pop-Tart. Continue to enjoy that. But I got something special for you today. Yesterday, we hit the tip of the iceberg as we discussed the topic of counterfeits in your life. And as we ended our time yesterday, I pointed out that the way we're able to identify counterfeits in our lives is knowing what the real thing looks like. And I wish I could say this for everyone, but I know it not to be true for everyone. But I know many of us can think of a friend who is close like a brother or close like a sister. You have your falling outs and disagreements on things, but just like family, you're able to forgive and forget. And you all get back to a place where you're in good standing with one another. And that's how it should be. That's real friendship. I had a friend growing up and we're still friends to this day. And he would always say this in reference to his younger cousins that got on his nerves sometimes. He would say, I got to love them, but I ain't got to like them. I'm commanded to love, but liking them is something different. And if we're going to be a friend to someone, we have to give and display love without conditions. No strings attached. It's easy to do for others when they do for you. It's easy to show love and adoration towards others that show that to you. But what about when it's hard to love someone? When it's hard to treat someone the right way because they've offended you? Will you still show love towards that person? Well, that's real love. And God himself models this real love towards us, a forgiving, gracious, unconditional love that we are supposed to show and model to others. Paul writes to the Romans this in Romans chapter 5, verses 7 through 11. Now, most people would not be willing to die for an upright person, though someone might perhaps be willing to die for a person who is especially good. But God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. And since we have been made right in God's sight by the blood of Christ, he will certainly save us from God's condemnation. For since our friendship with God was restored by the death of his son, while we were still his enemies, we will certainly be saved through the life of his son. So now we can rejoice in our wonderful new relationship with God because our Lord Jesus Christ has made us friends with God. That's good news. This is the real love I've been referring to. We've sinned against God, separating us from him. But I'm so glad that God is the bigger man and took the first step in reconciling us to him. That's why I love verse 8. But God, knowing our sin, knowing our wrongdoing, knowing our past, but also knowing our future, showed his great love for us by sending Jesus as the atonement for our sins so that we could experience a real, authentic love and right relationship with him. Y'all, that's good news. And that's the good news. And because sometimes we don't truly understand the fullness of that love, many times we are robbed of love. We rob others of love or an opportunity to show love because we are deceived with the counterfeit. Lust robs us of love and we find ourselves stuck in addiction. Infatuation robs us of love and we are hung up on the idea of love. Emotions can rob us of love and when the feeling is gone, guess what? So is the love. Needy love robs us of true love because when you don't, it doesn't. Luke chapter 6 verse 32 says, if you love only those who love you, why should you get credit for that? Even sinners love those who love them. When we truly grasp the magnitude of God's unconditional love towards you and I, and that becomes your model of love, what your words, actions, and motives come from, then you will fully be able to have and give authentic love, avoiding all other counterfeits. Man of Online, thank you for tuning in today. I love you and I mean that for real. Join me back here tomorrow for another morning. Man, I have a blessed day.